everybody, this is King Tut here, and some of you don't like VS Code. So to remedy this very hatred of VS Code, I'm going to show you how to compile C++ code in Notepad++. So before you do anything, you need to install Notepad++, and it's straightforward. You just go online, download it, and you just run the installation, just click next so many times until it installs and then click finish. Also, I would assume you guys have MySys2. If you don't, just look at my previous video that does C++ compilation on CVelop and also VS Code. Before we could actually, I could actually show you how to do it, we need to have a plugin for Notepad++. So you click there, you click plugin admin, you click on search NPPEX exec and it should show up here it's not showing showing up on my end because i already installed it so all you need to do is just click the check mark and then click install so you go under the available tab you search that and then it should pop up npp exec or npp exec and then you just click the check mark and then click install it's going to close Notepad++ and it's going to install and then it's going to reopen Notepad++. So you click close and make sure you save a test C++ file and write all of this down uh, just, just for testing. This simple code right here, um, I made that code so that way you guys don't see like don't see the pain of me writing down all the code and you once you do that you click on plugin you click on npp exec you click on execute and then here's what you need to write down first of all you need to write down npp save that's going to save notepad right here uh, the notepad plus plus or your C++ code inside of Notepad++. And then you need to write down this. So what's going to happen is it's going to compile and then output it as an exe file, as an executable file. So, so G++ is to compile C++ files. GCC is for the C file. So G++ and then whatever the path that leads to the C++ files and then O for output and then you put in the current directory and then you put the name part, the name of the file and then dot exe which, is in, which makes that file executable. It outputs an executable file. And then after that it, you go put in cmd for command prompt just to basically output the just run the code inside here and then you put slash c and then you put this the directory and the file of the name pretty much you put the executable file so the current directory goes to that directory of that file and the name part is the name of the file and then .exe is basically referencing it to an executable file that you already outputted. Once you've done that, hit save, give it a script name, and then save. That's going to be your preset. So that way you don't end up writing this whole thing down and clicking OK all the time. So once you did that, click OK. And voila. Let me zoom in a bit and, and it shows the output like it intended to. So hopefully this tutorial is very helpful. Um, if you really find that really, really helpful for you, just smash that like button, comment down below. Let me know that it's very helpful. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.